Travis Price and welcome to Stories of Kindness, the show where we give kids across Canada a positive outlet to be creative and kind. Let's get started. Today's theme of Stories of Kindness is Breaking All Odds. I'm joined today by my co-host from Vancouver, British Columbia. Travis, thank you so much for having me today here on Stories of Kindness. I'm very excited to be your co-host. My name is Harrison Hood. You might know me from a science show I hosted called Finding Stuff Out or as Bowie on Some Assembly Required. But I'm really excited to be here on Stories of Kindness. And today, our special guest is Mariam Tsegay. She is like one of the smartest girls I have ever seen. Her video I watched, we're going to see it later. It's incredible. She has a way of explaining science that is just so great. I'm really excited. So without further ado, I have Mariam Tsegay with me today. Hi, my name is Mariam. I'm the winner of the 2020 Breakthrough Junior Challenge. Uh, I live in Fort McMurray, Alberta. And yeah, I'm very happy to be here. For anyone watching who doesn't know what the Breakthrough Junior Challenge is, can you like explain it? Yeah, so the Breakthrough Junior Challenge is an international science video competition for um, kids from 13 to 18 years old. And you take a difficult math or science topic that you know or you want to learn about, and you make a three minute video about that topic. Um, and you know, you can do any video format that you like, like whether it's like a semi documentary thing or like a fun little puppet show, like whatever you want and um, explain that topic. And the winner gets a $250,000 scholarship of $100,000 science lab for their school and $50,000 for their teacher. And this year I won that challenge, which is <laughs> really crazy. Like I don't, sometimes I don't believe that I'm sitting there. I'm like, Oh, that's me. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's incredible. And also, you're the first Canadian to ever win the competition. Yeah, there are kids from over 120 countries participating. So it was like, yeah. That is so cool. And that's like such a perfect thing that you could find and do during like, you know, quarantine or lockdown and stuff, right? Yeah. How did you hear about it? I actually heard about it in grade seven, like five years ago. And it's kind of funny that I didn't participate until now, but like, I knew it was there and I never, like every year I was like, oh, I know it's there. Oh, I know it's there and I'm not doing it. And this year with all the time in quarantine, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do it this year. Amazing. You're, you gave your school a new science lab and you got a teacher $50,000 or like, that's such a cool story of kindness in itself. But I'm wondering if you have something like, that might seem like so... Yeah. for a lot of people like do you have like stories of kindness you can share uh yeah I actually have a story of kindness that happened to me so <laughs> over quarantine um I kind of like bombarded like so many questions and like packed this up in an email and sent it to my teacher and there were like so many um <laughs> and a lot of like hypothetical like imaginary situations and like oh if if this works a certain way then what if we could do this 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 to how do our brain waves work because our brain makes waves or um why are plants this color and not why are plants green and not like this color um my teacher since you know before quarantine i would you know be able to go to her desk and like discuss these things uh <laughs> instead of her going and saying oh never mind like you know we're not learning about this so don't worry or don't do this uh she set up a zoom call with me and like another student that was interested my friend and some teachers who might like help find figure out the answer to these questions and so you know we had a really good discussion all together about science and about um other things related to science they yeah they set set, set aside some time and they didn't need to because it's not something that we're learning about but out of their own interest and out of their kindness they did that for us well Thank you so much, Miriam, for being on Stories of Kindness today. Thank you for having me. And we have more to show you. So we're going to go back to Travis. <laughs> that was wicked. Oh, what's up? The walrus is calling. Hey, what's up? What's going on? I'm having a day where I feel like nothing is going as planned. Like, I feel angry. I don't know. Maybe sad. Well, what happened? Do you 
Want to talk about it? I showed up to play hockey with all my friends, but they said walruses weren't allowed. And now I wasted my entire day and it just, it sucks. I hate it. And I'm just mad, okay? I feel like I can't control it. Is that okay? Of course we're allowed to have these feelings. It's normal, it's up. You can have these feelings about anything, no matter how big or small. And it's all right to tell your friends and your parents, uh, me, about uh, whether you're feeling sad or angry. Oh, okay. So, it's all right to have these feelings? Of course, we all have feelings. Call me any time, and you know I'm your pal, even though you're a walrus and I'm a human. Thanks for talking to me about this. Now that I know this, I can help you too. Witsprograms.ca I'm glad that Wits up called to tell me how he was feeling. If you're having an okay day, maybe try calling a friend or chatting with your parents. It can feel really good to talk. <coughs> oh! Yeah, uh, hey, Travis. Travis! Yeah, I'm still here on the computer. Uh, I've been waiting. Should I just, like, chill and, like, watch the rest of the show? Or, like... Well, since you're still here, why don't you introduce our next segment? Just say, it's viewer question time. Yeah, I can do that. It's viewer question time! Hey Travis, why did you create Pink Shirt Day? Pink Day was started because I saw a grade 9 boy being bullied for simply wearing a pink shirt. And me knowing what it was like to be bullied my whole life, I didn't want him to feel the way that I felt. I didn't want him and his family to go through the things that my mind went through. I wanted him to be able to go to school, be safe, learn, and have fun. That's why the Pink Day exists today. Good news! We have time for a quick show and tell. So I was watching my brother play this video game, and he used a cheat code that let his character do a walk through walls hack. He pushed himself against a barrier in the game, hit some buttons, and boom, his character appeared on the other side. Imagine if he could walk through walls in real life! And it turns out you can, at a quantum level. We're talking on the scale of the stuff that make up atoms. Strange things happen at a quantum level. For one thing, all subatomic particles? They've got split personalities. One personality is a wave, and the other one's a particle, but there's still one being. When you want to know where they are, they seem like a particle, and when you want to know what they're doing, they behave like waves. But you can't ask both personalities at the same time. Basically, they've got some serious commitment issues, and that means we can only guess where they might be. Imagine an electron has two dice, six sides each. What the electron rolls is where it will sit along the line. Our electron can't commit to a position until the dice are rolled, remember? Serious commitment issues. So as our electron is shaking the dice, it's everywhere at once. Something, like us trying to measure its position, has to force the electron to let go of the dice and pick a spot. Of all combinations, getting a 7 is more likely than 2 or 12. In reality though, the electron can be in more than just 10 spots, since there are many more combinations than just 2 dice. Now we can picture subatomic particles as this, a probability wave. This wave will tell us the odds of finding a particle at that location. Say this is our electron's probability wave. The peaks of the wave is where we're most likely to find the electron, and in the valleys, it's less likely we find it there. Let's say the electron is heading towards a barrier. As it hits the barrier, the wave bounces off. But let me tell you something about waves. They are not perfect. For example, a beam of light doesn't perfectly reflect off of the surface. A small fraction of light can get through. Waves won't bounce off perfectly, so neither will the electron wave. Sometimes the wave can slip through through the barrier. When the wave is in the barrier, the chances of finding an electron there goes down by a lot. But if the barrier is thin enough, the wave can reach the other side before it dies off. So what does that mean? Remember, the wave tells us how likely it is to find the electron there. This means there's a chance we can find our electron on the other side of the barrier. Or in there too. Once it's on the other side, we can say the electron tunneled through the barrier. This is quantum tunneling, and that's how subatomic particles can walk through walls. Okay, so little elementary particles can walk through walls, but I can't, because my body's made up of more than a quadrillion of these quantum objects, and the odds of all of them tunneling through the wall is practically impossible. So why does quantum tunneling even matter? It's the reason we're alive. <laughs> 
Quantum tunneling allows nuclear fusion. Sounds familiar? That's how our sun releases huge amounts of energy that makes life on our planet possible. So how can you quantum tunnel at home? You already are. It's one of the ways our DNA mutates, among other roles that quantum physics plays in our biology. Quantum physics makes it seem like the world is playing cheat codes on us, but it isn't. It's how the universe works. Maybe the quantum world is telling us that when faced with an obstacle, there's a small chance we can defy expectations and breach barriers. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us for Stories of Kindness. Please remember, believe in kindness, believe in yourself, believe in each other, and let's continue to spread stories of kindness. See you next time.